Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm, and we are back again with another video to help you on your journey with Caternix quail and becoming more self-sufficient. In this video, it's actually going to be a short one, but I've got some good information in here for you with raising Caternix quail, and we're going to talk about a bachelor pad. That's right, we're going to talk about how to keep your males from fighting each other until they're old enough to butcher for yourself and your family. Uh, so I've got a couple tips and tricks that I'm going to give you. Again, this video is going to be kind of short, uh, but I'm just going to give you that information and then you guys can be off to the races. So if this video is going to be helpful, remember to hit the like button and support the channel. I would greatly appreciate it, but let's get right into it. So you've got males and they're three, four, five, six months, six weeks old, and you want them to be raised until they're eight or 10 weeks old. Um, but you're worried about the infighting. Well, the first answer is yes. Yes, you can have a bachelor pad. They're not going to all kill each other. But you might need to do a couple tips and tricks that I've learned along the way that I'm sharing with you now. So first and foremost is at three weeks old, if they're feather sexable, the best thing to do is get the males away from the females as quickly as possible. Um, so long story short, the males typically become active. And, and mature at around five weeks old. Well, if you separate them after that, they're used to the females, and so they'll start breeding each other in the male cage, or they're gonna start fighting each other thinking that, you know, they're competition. Uh, so a good practice is to get the males and the females separated as quickly as possible. Now, if it's at three weeks old and they're feather sexable, easy to do, I've got a couple videos on that. Uh, that you can check out. If they're not feather sexable, it's not the end of the world. That's just one trick uh, to, uh, to use. The second trick is obviously make sure that there's always, always, always food and water. If it's a larger cage, if you've got, you know, anywhere from 20 to 40 males that you're growing out, um, the best practice is actually to have separate food and waters in there uh, so they're not in one position. So you put you know, a feeder and a water on one side and a feeder and a water on the other side. And then they're kind of splitting into groups, which is nice. Uh, so that's just another tip. The third is actually if you can cover them up. So, you know, you've got this cage, it's a male cage and you don't want them to fight, whatever the case may be, put them in the cage and put a tarp, a blanket, a towel, whatever the case may be, put it over the cage. That darkness will actually kind of calm them. Uh, and disorient them. So really all they do in that time is eat, drink, and sleep. Uh, so they actually just get b bigger for you. Uh, so that's a really good practice. That's, that's the number one that you should do. Um, and obviously if you can't do that, uh, try to put them in as much of a shade as possible uh, and not let them see the females. So if you've got, you know, a tiered cage, you would want the males at the top and the females at the bottom. Um, if you've got side-by-side -side cages, maybe just put a divider there or something like that if you can't cover the cage. Uh, but again, the more you can cover, the more you can put them in the dark, the better it's gonna be for them. Uh, so that's just a couple of things. I get asked quite a bit, can I put all the males in one cage together? Yes, you can, that's not a big deal at all. Now, if you're growing all of them out, uh, we still recommend that you separate at three weeks old if you can, uh, but you can also kind of put them all together uh, and starting at about five, six weeks old, start going through there and vent sexing or just listening for one second because they'll start crowing because they found their voice and everything uh, and start separating them then uh, and still make a bachelor pad until you're ready to put a group of breeders together. Uh, the reason for that is because, again, the males are going to become more active and mature before the females. So they're going to start breeding before the hens are ready and start laying eggs, which usually makes the hens uh, produce eggs later on because it stresses them out. So typically eggs are laid, or females start laying eggs between six and eight weeks old. But if all the males are in there and they've been breeding since week five, typically they won't start until seven, eight, or nine weeks old. Uh, so that's, again, another tip for you. So hopefully you helped, uh, or this helped you on your journey with Caternix Quail, answered some questions that you had, or even answered some questions you didn't have. If it did, hit the like button and support the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. And we've got a lot of really good videos coming your way 
to inform you about Caternix Quail. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon for notifications. And remember, every Sunday and every Tuesday, I go live right here on our YouTube channel for a live question and answer. So you can jump on there, ask your question, and I will get you answered that same time. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all the support. And as always, until next time, everybody, stay safe.